Hmm. Meta population. Hi. I still do not understand what is meta population. No worries. I will explain it to you. Now let me start to explain about the meta population. Meta population is a population of populations. In meta population, the populations of the same species are separated in different fragments, but they do interact at some level. This theory was first developed for terrestrial ecosystems, and it was subsequently applied to the marine realm. The increment in human populations require larger areas for land use activities, and this forces many organisms to face the problem of habitat destruction in large scale. And fragmentation of larger populations. An approach was developed to manage this problem. The idea was, empty fragments will be colonized by the organism, and that population will persist for a while, but will eventually become extinct. Thus, meta populations persist as long as the colonization takes place after the extinctions. According to the meta population approach, all immigrants should have come from other fragments. According to Lovins, 1969, the classical form of meta population. Shows a meta population consists of isolated patches within an unsuitable matrix without a main land. Therefore, all local populations will have the chance to face extinction. Also, the entire meta population. I was thinking, what is the classical form of meta population? Maybe some figures to help you more understand it. Yeah, absolutely. In general, there are four types of meta population models. One of these is classical meta population. In this model, the persistence of a population is maintained by an adequate rate of migration among patches. It describes the persistence of species in the landscape is depends on a turnover of extinction recolonization of suitable habitat patches at each generation. This model includes occupied and unoccupied patches. In this model, it states that the smaller the population, the more chances of inbreeding depression, thus contributes to higher chances of extinction. I will introduce the other meta population types. Mainland island meta population. This model describes that the patches or subpopulations are located near a larger mainland patch or subpopulation. Also, the dispersals from the mainland can reach each of the small patches or subpopulations. Furthermore, in this model, the mainland populations are assumed to have low chance of extinction. Therefore, the meta population will not go extinct too. 
patchy beta population. In this model, the subpopulations are dependent on each other and their demographics are closely linked. All subpopulations are sufficiently close to a function as a single subpopulation. The single subpopulation, which is in a large size, is acting as the meta population in this model as individuals migrate between subpopulations to lower the risk of extinction. It will not be noticed when a small subpopulation goes extinct. However, the meta population will extinct if the large single subpopulation is extinct. Non-equilibrium meta population. In this model, the subpopulations are completely independent and their demographics are not linked. Each subpopulation acts as a separate meta population, and the meta population is extinction prone due to its isolation and small size. In this model, the large interpatch distances had separated the subpopulations and causes no migration occurs. Therefore, recolonization will not occur when a subpopulation is extinct. Once upon a time, there was a panda village called Ayapan village. The pandas lived happily in the village. After many generations, the population of panda keep increasing until the food resources in the village started to decrease. The pandas started to worry and they had a meeting. After the meeting, they decided to travel around the world looking for a suitable place for them to colonize and build another panda village. The older pandas suggested that they will stay in their panda village due to their health issues. A few weeks later, the pandas finally found a suitable place, an island. The pandas are so happy because the place was new and it was full of resources. So the pandas settled down and started to build their new village. The name it Ada Village. Meanwhile, the resources in Airpan Village kept decreasing. One day, the forest fire suddenly started up and burned the village. The population left in Airpan Village were all dead. At the same time, pandas living in Ada Village were happy and excited. When they finally settled down, some pandas went back to Airpan village. They were excited to share the good news. But when they reached Airpan village, they were shocked by what they see. They are sad. They contacted with other pandas who live in Ada village and informed the situation in Napan village. All pandas are sad. The team of panda then went back to Ada village again with the bringing back the pandas from Apan village. The pandas were sad for a few months. A few months later, the pandas live a normal life again in Nada village. Many years later, 
a team of young pandas decided to go back to Appan village. So, the population now exists in both Appan village and Ada village. The end. I also found that in the meta population theories, there is a term called rescue effect, is it? Yeah, I heard that before. May I ask for some explanation, please? In the rescue effect, a population may immigrate to a small population and rescue that population from extinction due to the good opportunity left by the declining population to the rescuers. Hmm, maybe a further explanation, please? Sure! According to Brown and Codric Brown, the rescue effect is a phenomenon used to describe the metapopulation dynamics and many other disciplines in ecology. Oh, I see. Yeah, this phenomenon describes the migration of individuals can stabilize the meta population by increasing the number of population in a small isolated population, thus minimizing the chances of extinction. Here, I will show you a short story about the rescue effect. There was a panda village named Pan Pan Village. The pandas are happy living in the village. They have enough food and resources and they enjoy the days in the village. However, the pandas are too focused on working. They have spent less time on their personal life. Most of the pandas do not start a family of their own. So, the population in Pan Pan Village shows an obvious decrease after a few generations. The pandas started to worry. They are afraid that they may go extinct in a few years later. Meanwhile, Dada village has existed before the Pan Pan village, and the population in Dada village kept increasing each year. To avoid the situation of lacking food and natural resources, the pandas in Dada village decided to emigrate from their village and find a new place to settle down. They found Pan Pan village during their journey. The pandas from different village are happy to see each other. Pandas in Pan Pan village treat the pandas from Dada village as their rescuer. They welcome the pandas from Dada village and share their food and resources with the new coming pandas. So, the pandas live happily together in Pan Pan village. The end. In conclusion, a meta population theory basically will involve three terms, which are the migration, colonization, and extinction. Meta population continue as there is a balance between extinction and colonization of local populations. These terms are interact with each other, where the migration may lead to colonization or the extinction of population in a patch may cause migration to recolonize the previously extinct patch. Thus, encourage the long-term persistence of population networks. This feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on All through my city, all through my home 
We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh. 